So hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do a Tesco haul. A bit unusual for me, I'm normally a bit of a Poundland, Primark, Home Bargains type of girl, but today a bit of Tesco. So I went out with my lovely friend Emma for a meal the other night and on the way back, it was about half past nine, I thought I'd pop into Tesco, get a few bits. And when it's a bit quieter, you can sort of look around the store a bit more and I found quite a few bargains. I was well chuffed. So it's a bit of a mixture of beauty and then a few random items. I'm going to start with the randoms first. Merchant Puy Lentils. Absolutely love this meal. So this is Merchant uh, tomato -y French Puy and Green Lentils. If it's pronounced Puy, I do not know. So it says in here it's two servings, but I normally have this just on its own and it's just over 300 calories for the full lot. And it tastes really nice with Audi's um, goat cheese and just a massive salad. Very, very filling. It's almost, it tastes very rich actually. There's no meat in it, so vegetarian. Um, absolutely delicious. And Tesco have only just started stocking these. I've had these from Sainsbury's previously. Um, they're not cheap, they're coming at two pounds, but when you think that and a bit of cheese for a meal, 250, whatever, not even that. Really nice. So if you like a rich, tomato-y, tasty meal, give these a try. They're actually all right on their own as well. You might not want the goat's cheese with them because that makes it even richer, but I like the two tastes and textures that go well together. This is one of my favourites as well, from Schwartz. Schwartz, I don't know, Brennan. Oh, very good at pronouncing that, Schwartz. Uh, tuna Neapolitan, it's just a packet mix. Um, these are 84 pence each, but they had an offer on in Tesco, four for two pounds. So of course I took advantage of that. Um, they last until 2021. And this is, um, it says to just add tomato puree, butter, tin of tuna and pasta. But I tend to cook this with a bit of tuna and maybe some prawns. Sometimes throw in a bit of um, sweet corn, pasta, tomato puree, a bit of garlic, a few herbs, a bit more. It's absolutely delicious. And sometimes I add milk to it as well. Uh, it says to add butter, but I mix it with a little bit of milk. In fact, it says to mix it with milk on the packet. I thought it said to mix it with water. Uh, never mind. So it doesn't say on the front to add, add milk, so that's a little bit misleading. But it really is a nice dish and you can make a massive, I usually make a massive vat of it and it lasts me, I think it's about five or six meals with a couple of chins of tuna. But it's really quite tasty, hot or cold. And the longer you sort of leave it in the pan once you've cooked it, so, you know, maybe then... No, you wouldn't dish it up the next day because that might not be that hygienic. But... A little while after, the, the flavours, a bit like a chilli or a curry, the flavours go into it and make it really tasty. So that's a really quick, nice, yummy meal. These, absolute bargain of the day. So this is Tex, Tesco's Maximum Hold Mousse for 24 hours. It's active. Um, I'm not really fussy with mousse. I've put just a little ball full on my hair each time I wash it so whatever brand suits me 25 pence each so all three of those are 75p that is an absolute bargain because normally I think they come I think they're coming at least a pound a go so I don't know whether they're changing the packaging or what but well chuffed with that lot they had a whole shelf full could have gone crazy but I was on my bike so I couldn't carry too much back um, but definitely keep an eye out for Tesco's little sneaky bargains because now and again you get some corkers. I've got a load of aerial washing pods once, um, little boxes of about 12 and they're only a pound so I bought five. A couple of hair colours next. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if I actually got a good deal on these or not. Um, they're Clairol uh, in boots 6 49 I paid five pounds each in Tesco. I think I actually thought I saw on the um, the label in the shop that they were a bit cheaper than that and that's why I bought them but I had had a glass of wine so I can't quite remember. Anyway, I've gone for uh, 10A Baby Blonde. Now I've tried that on my hair today because if you've seen a few of the videos I went red trying to get it a bit blonder but 
it's taken a long time to to do it it's hit it it's, it's taken on the gray or the new growth um the new color so i've had got about an inch of new growth now and that's that's taken but the rest of the hair is still a little bit gingery red but i'm getting there and then the second one so once i get blonde i will want to go back a little bit of red i don't want to go too bright blonde so this might be required at some point and this is 8g medium honey blonde so compared to boots i saved one pound fifty each on those tesco's hairspray never tried this one before uh, tesco essentials hairspray lightly fragrance lasting hold 75 pence had a go on it it's pretty decent actually it's got a very very powerful jet so when you spray on it all your hair sort of moves so you have to be a bit careful maybe do it at a bit of distance but yeah not bad for 75p final beauty item moisturizer moisturize from head to toe every day get through moisturizer like it's going out of fashion and I used to use, or I love, the Tesco Aloe Vera in this sort of range, sort of a basics plain range. But the past couple of times I've been in there, it's not been on the shelf, so I'm not sure if they've stopped selling it. So anyway, I thought I'd pick this one up because it's out of a similar range. It's only a pound and you get 400 millilitres and it's really quite rich. It's a really good moisturiser to use if you've been on, in the sun. So let's give it a little sniff. So this is the Cocoa Butter. Hmm, that's quite nice. Some Cocoa Butter can be a little bit, a bit too pungent, but that's quite a mild fragrance. So I shall look forward to giving that one a go. Pound. Can't go into Tesco without checking out the cleaning aisles. So I've started using, I picked up a bottle of this on a Poundland haul that I did. So that was a quid. Uh, this one was £1.50, but you get a litre, whereas the one in Poundland, I think, was only a 500ml. So it actually probably works out about the same. But anyway, it's a decent sized bottle, and this is Ace for Colours. A lot of people use Ace for Whites. I'm not sure if this is a new product or whether I just hadn't seen it until recently. Um, and this is, oh, it's for whites and colours, even though it says it's for colours. Um, removes odours and safe on delicate. So what I've started using this is, uh, you'll know on previous videos if you've watched them, that I do, my, myself and my husband do a lot of training. We do a lot of cycling, running, weightlifting, that sort of thing. Um, and our gym kit gets quite whiffy. Um, don't necessarily wash it every single day, even though we train probably six times a week. I try and leave it to do every other day, so I'm not washing it you know, half a load, which isn't very economical. Um, so sometimes when it's sat for a while, it can get a little bit pungent. So I've started using this and I shall let you know how it goes. And then still on the subject of smelly sports kit. This is my new favorite friend for the sports kit. Started spraying it on the uh, more fragrant areas. Um, the Detol all-in-one spray. Uh, this in some shops, I think I said on another video in the co-op, it was something like, it's almost £4, £3.79. But when you get it on an offer, they do it in Poundland as well, um, these were £2 each. So these are fragrances I've not seen before. Uh, pomegranate Paradise and Lemon Breeze. Love pomegranates, love the smell of lemon, so I'm looking forward to using both of those. Obviously, you can use this around the house as well. You just have to be careful because it is a disinfectant. I know I've read on a few Facebook pages where people have used it to spray on door handles and they've had an issue with the paint softening a little bit. So if you do buy it and wherever you spray it, just be mindful of where you're using it. I'm sure, it's fine on work surfaces, but anywhere near paint or plastics, just be mindful of that. I almost forgot the bargain of the day. There's me telling you about the moose being the bargain. No, it wasn't. It was a pair of trousers. Look at these. I've been after a pair of trousers this colour for quite some time. This sort of a camel. Um, and I did buy one pair from Tesco, which cost me about 14, no, 16 pounds. Really, really love them. I've washed them once and they've gone, they're faded. So... Like an idiot, I've gone back to, to the same shop to buy some more. But I saw these on the sale rail and I thought I couldn't resist. 
They only had one pair left, size eight. They did look quite big for me. I sort of can look at something and think if they're like if they're going to fit me or not. And they've got this lovely detail here of this little um, belt. So they should have been fourteen pounds. I got them for six pounds, six quid. Uh, size eight, and I'll show you them. I'll try them on and show you them. Slim fit down at the old leggy and they're like ankle grazers so I'll uh, just insert a shot now so that's them on they're quite nice they're quite high waisted I think that's why they look so big they are a little bit big but I think they fall nicer rather than being tight and then looking too stretchy so they're pretty smart so that's it quick Tesco haul bit different, a few bargains, not quite maybe the same as Poundland. I've actually got some stuff that I'm going to use rather than a load of tut um, that I've got to find a new home for. All of that will be used, so that's great news. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on another video soon. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button. It's free to do, very easy, just go buff. Uh, try to upload two videos a week, usually at the weekends can be a little bit hit and miss when they come on, but I do try and do two videos. So if you've already subscribed, thank you. And I've been having some really lovely messages from people. I do try to respond to them all. And I'm really, I'm starting to build some nice little relationships, relationships with people. So that's really nice. Okay, so I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.